Okay, so just a quick one. This is the Samsung 32 for 2020. It's a UE 32T5300, so it doesn't look that much different in appearance from last year's, well, say last year's, possibly the year before N series. But we'll have a look anyway. Top of the box, and we'll get a close up in a second. So, all I can see there to start with, both pedestal feet together, similar to last year's. Nothing in there, quick start guide. Okay, so quick start setup guide out. We'll have a close up of that momentarily. Pedestal feet there, two tiny plastic things with some self tapping screws. Polystyrene out the top. There is the remote and instruction book pack. We'll get a close up of that as well in a moment. That is the screen, which I'll carefully put to the side. Polystyrene back in the box as my impromptu workbench. Okay, so quick look in the bag. We've got figure eight UK mains lead, right angle there, adapter. Pedestal feet, we may as well unpackage those now. So, Nothing special, they are marked left and right. Don't know how well it shows up, but R there, L there. Four self tapping screws. Okay. That is the remote control, which I will get a close up of to go through the buttons in a bit more detail. Just a quick look there, but we'll get a close up. Ooh, quick start guide. So, quick setup guide. Have a quick look. So, feet out, etc. It does actually say two man lift. So, if you need two men for Something that size, get two men, don't squeeze the screen. Flat clean surface, something soft and clean. And again, putting those feet in and so on, but we'll go through that anyway. It's a quick close up of the remote because I forgot to do it earlier. Mains power there or on off button, source button, channels, volume up and down, channels up and down, Netflix, Prime, Rakuten, guide button, cursor arrows, return exit. We've got the play, pause, etc. buttons for if you're on your apps or looking at your own USB videos and the settings button there in tiny writing, which could be quite important. Looking at the back when I'm in focus, there we are. Just treble A batteries in there, slides back on. Okay, so while I've got it here, I'll just put these feet in. So it's marked left and right which is great because there's nothing corresponding. So left and right, depending which way you look at the TV. But it's that way. Okay, so you've got a lug there that locates into a slot here. And I can see, don't know how well they short, but there are two holes there. Okay, so two self-tapping screws for that one. So I just fast forward me whipping these screws in here. Says. Okay, so same for this side here. Two more self tapping screws. Okay, so nice and secure there. We'll get a close up of the back now. So, looking closely at the back there, we can see we've got those four. Um, it's a 100mm square visa there, and I think they are M4 screws or bolts you need, maybe about 30-40mm long. That's something to watch out for. So looking at the connections there, we've got actual composite. 
there the yellow and red and white audio or component video and red and white audio aerial terrestrial antenna optical digital out local area network that's your wired internet to the TV we'll just look at these so we've got the CI card slot reader or PCMI so on HDMI 1 HDMI 2 is audio return channel USB there 5 volt 1 amp and the mains figure 8 lead input so about 72 and a half centimeters at its widest point or 28 and a half inches from the back the furthest out to somewhere near the front I'd say 15 and a half centimeters or six inches that's the back of the feet there to the front so that's the depth of those feet when fitted okay and height wise it's nice and low just over three centimeters or one and a quarter inches thickness wise at its thickest point of the TV it's about 74 mil or just under three inches I'd say there maybe two and nine tenth inches if that's a thing not great is it imperial but that's at its thickest point from front to back okay so I'll just turn the TV on So it said wide internet there, it does have Wi-Fi as well if you choose to go that way. I selected all locations but better to put your postcode in so you get your sort of regional recommendations and channels etc. So we'll skip past the tuning in, that may take five minutes. Okay, so we've now finished the tuning, so it's just region select. So primary region, England, secondary region as always is important. Pick the one your aerial's facing at because it will be your strongest signal. Oh, Yorkshire for me. Okay, so it tells me there, channel's picked up and a wide network. Amazon Prime you can add later, and but it's on about linking your app so you don't have to sign into them all. And additional apps you can add, but you can add these later as well. So BBC Sounds, Britbox, UK TV Play. I'm just going to say done for now. Yes, we are ready. <coughs> Okay, so this is just showing Freeview HD, so Freeview HD is of course built in. It's just on a normal terrestrial news channel here, so I'll just turn up the sound so you can hear the speakers. One of a kind. His music is never sentimental, always emotional. Ridley Scott once said to me that um, sentimentality was unearned emotion, and any earned emotion like nobody else did. He was prolific, composing over 500 scores for film and TV. His theme for the BBC drama The Life and Times of David Lloyd George border that last month saw some bloody, bloody uh, clashes. Right, let's uh, start. Welcome to you both. Rachel, let's kick off, shall we, with the um, New York Times. Uh, Hong Kong enters new reality. The new... Okay, new, uh, so while it's looking at static law, images, uh, really there is no inbuilt retail demo on this model, so we'll go over to my own channel. So 
Just quickly on the home menu, Samsung TV Plus, some of their sort of content there, you can pay and get more or movies and so on. Sorry, that's my phone. Live TV, we're already on. Netflix, Prime, iPlayer, uh, ITV, Apple TV, so you can purchase things from Apple as well if you so wish to. Rakuten, YouTube, all four. Gallery for your own sort of content pictures and whatever else as well, or their sort of services you can access for more pictures. Internet browser there, okay, and my five. So I'm just going to go to YouTube, skip, so we're showing this video here in 1080p. Spurs include the likes of Deli Alley, Jun Min Son, and Toby Ardeviro to their starting eleven. Juventus versus Tottenham Hotspur, a fixture many on in this kind of area. Jun Min Son for Spurs. Clark's it in. In terms of form from that moment on. It's a match of its great ball, and he directed it to the front corner. And those two work it again. Four on three here for Spurs. Son, well laid off, and Puka makes a fine save, but it's guided in by Eric Clamella. Trey Parrott tonight on the first attempt, but Lamella is there to beat Bullfong. Spurs have been the better team. Okay, so, just going to play here as a demo off my own channel. It's actually 8K. We're going to see it in 1080p because that is the full resolution of the TV. Wouldn't let that put you off so much on a small screen because 4K would you notice from a distance, but anyway, I'll shut up. Okay, so that is pretty much it. That's back to live TV there. When I find where I've lost the remote control, I will turn it off. But nice small TV could maybe be used in a bedroom or kitchen. It wouldn't be your main TV, I don't think, in a lounge or anything. But I shall call that it for now. Wednesday of what more he's going to.